Hi lads, Ben here back with another video for you today and today is part two of the tractor tours mini kind of series thing I'm doing so in today's video I'll be doing the 178 as you can see here and the 168 they're similar enough but you'll see once I get in with the few things that are different now the reason I don't have them they'll be in two different places is because this is back at home at our main farm and the 168 is at a different farm so I'll be going up there today and I'll record the tour of it. So with that shirt, sure, I'll get a, like the way I done it with the John Deere is a few just clips of the outside of it. And then I'll get into explaining more about it. With your smile, the sunshine brings the light. Fill me out with a flame. I will let you in this game. Right, so we'll get into it here now. The first thing I'd like to say is the tires. So we have oversized tires on it. These front tires will probably be the same size, maybe bigger than the 390s. And this, these back tires, the width of them, they be, they're fairly wide. I don't know now compared to the John Deere's, they'd be around maybe the same. But height-wise, they're, they they are. Where is the number for them? They are 34s. I think there's 36s on the New Holland. So that goes to show how big they are. There is a bit of a space here. We have had put spacers in in the mug guards, as you can see, to raise them up so the tires aren't hitting off the mug guards. Um, I have this here on it for pulling trailers because it's all I really do with it right now. That's the back end of it. There now. So usually there does be a step here that you can stand on while getting up, but there's none. So once you get up, you have your steer in here. There's your hand throttle. There, your key. That's where you pull it. You pull that out to stop. Now that space there, if this was a multi-power tractor, that would be there, and you can use it. That's the switch for the lights. You twist that. Now this is a. Uh, three speed tractor so it's reverse first second third then you have your high and low box your handbrake your clutch your brake and your foot throttle this is mostly the same on the 168 but i said i'd show off the 168 as well because i'm as well to do it while i'm at this and then we have here so you go down position down up and then you have transport and constant pumping if you're on the road that kind of thing and you need to lift it up more so i'll start it up now and just show you bits of it working and dropping the hitch and stuff on it so once i do the tour of the 168 you'll see the way that we have to take it out of gear and put that in a neutral we're on this so you can start it in gear so i'll start it now if this is a loud enough tractor you'll probably not be able to hear me once i start it so I'll either put text on the screen or you'll probably just be able to see it anyway. So I'll start her now. Right, so I don't know if you can hear me, but to drop the lift, you lift it up there. You push that back. Drop I was meant to say hitch but I said the lift but you get me anyway and there's the hitch dropping now and you let that back so then as you can see you take out that little like that if you want to take that off and them two pins there they keep it I'm moving so I lift it back up now and you pull this out and you'll see it now get hooked in and that's it drop the lift and there it is hooked in there so if you're letting on and off the handbrake you usually push here with your foot to take the pressure off and then let it down and then it's off. Then you go first gear. And then to 
reverse you have to be fully stopped in a reverse and off you go right so another thing I forgot to say is this tractor does have power steering on it and it's fairly good power steering actually to be fair um, it'd nearly be as good as the big tractors if I'm honest and you'd say and the big wheels and all it's a good enough tractor now um, no cabinet we might put a cabinet we'll see anyway but sure that's it with uh, the 178 and we'll go to the 168 now right so now as you can see here we have the 168 Massey Ferguson it's a bit smaller than the 178 and it has a cab on it now as you can see the tires aren't as wide we'll get in all of that now in a few minutes though so just wanted to say that um, I'll get the few clips with a bit of music behind them and then I'll get into explaining it Right, so this tractor is four gears, so we go first, second, third, four, Right, so as you can see this tractor has a cab, the front window's in it and that side window. Uh, there's the step I was on about when I was on the 170, I said there's a step getting into it. So as you get in, it's pretty much the same, you have your stop, your key, your lights, that there is a kill switch, turns the battery off, turns it on in case it ever go on fire. You have your throttle, brakes, clutch, handbrake. Now on this tractor we got this put into it, this is for the lift, so this handle goes up and down for the lift and then these two hydraulic pipes are to this, as the lift on this was, it wasn't great. That's really the only difference, I'll, sh I'll turn on the lights now, I don't know if you'll see it with the sun, but we'll try it, so the front lights are on now, I'll try, I think you can see it there, that one's not working, this one is, then I'll show you the back light the back work light there and now I'll show you the kill switch on it now this tractor like I said earlier it's down here and it's in gear I'll turn on the kill switch won't start put it neutral neutral and it works so here is the lift now so that's letting it down now I'm lifting it up, as you can see. To let out the hitch is the same, you just push that back when the lift is up. Um, now I'll show you the kill switch. So, kill switch off. Won't turn. There you have it. Now I have a video of it going out the road for you just to show you the gears and stuff. The gears in these are very weird. You have first gear here, up to second, third and fourth. So you have reverse, then first, second up there. Then you bring it back over to the middle for third, if I can find it. Third, then fourth. And that's it. Now the tires, like I said when I started the, this part of the video, they're not the widest, but there was no need for wide tires on it. The tires that are on it does the job. That's it really now with this tractor. There's the light again. Quick walk around of it. 
It's a mighty tractor. That's it. I'll leave it at that. I'm sure I'll see you in the next video.